What's up guys, we're back after a week long vacation in Georgia and we have a little project. We have a lot of stuff planned so we might as well just do everything at once and try to get everything done. We're doing a solar panel and if you watched our last video, I did say that that was our next project. So I made sure it was our next project. So I got a flexible 100 watt solar panel I got four other Amazon ditch lights that we're gonna be putting on each side of the roof rack. So we can see where we're going at night, we often have a very hard time finding camp. Um, when we're trailing at night, it just kind of, we have to grab a flashlight and kind of just try to locate where we're gonna stay. So I'd rather put two or four lights, two on each side um, to help us at night. And we also picked up a shower awning. That's something that I've been delaying for a while. And we were able to find one off of Facebook for pretty cheap. Let's get going. We also have a couple extra stuff. Double-sided tape. That's what we're going to be using to do the solar panel. I found some wire. I normally use red and black wire. But this is the wire that I found at Walmart. I got some extra connectors for whenever I need to unplug the wires. It's just easier that way. Got some tubing to hide the wires. This was only from what, Harbor Freight. I believe it was like three bucks. And of course some zip ties from Harbor Freight as well. Three bucks. So what made us decide to do the solar panel is the fact that I don't want to keep taking the solar panel in and out of my truck. So I wanted something a little bit more permanent. And I've been wanting it for a while. And then when I saw the guy have the same tent as me at the expo and have the solar panel up there, I had to give it a try. So. I went ahead and got it and also got the shower awning as well just because you know might as well prep and have everything ready and also the lights so we're going to go ahead and take the tent off the truck we're going to take the awning off the truck just so we, it's easier to wire everything because i originally wired these back lights and the front lights with the tent on top so it, it wasn't it wasn't the most ideal thing, but it worked and it, you know, it, it's still working today. But for the solar panel and everything, and I also have extended wires coming for the solar panel, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Take the tent off the top. Michelle's gonna help me, obviously, cause I don't have anybody else with me. And then go from there. So we're ready to do this. Here you go, you're good. Pull it out. Pull it out. You're fine. Bring it over here. Just put it down. Thank you. Now, now that the awning is off, I'm gonna go ahead and take the tent off. I'm also going to mark the areas where this was before to make sure that the tent goes back where it's supposed to go. And other than that, now the awning is off. It's pretty dirty. And while I'm up here, I might take the opportunity to, to go ahead and clean the roof because the roof is probably disgusting. I went ahead and put some marks where they're supposed to go. And we're gonna go ahead and take the bolts off and take the tent off. All right, so unfortunately it's been quite a, quite a while. As you can tell, my hair is a mess. I look like I've been through it. This, the bolt stripped on the on the roof rack so it's been like three or four hours since we've been trying to figure out a way to do it we our plan was to to use a, a saw to cut a cut it into a flathead that's what we, we ended up doing but we didn't have the tools for it so my dad came home with an impact and just impacted it off but it worked we got the tent off i go ahead and take the um one of the bars off the roof rack because what my plan is, is instead of using these rinky dink little bars that they give you, what I want to do 
is figure out a way to put a nut or a screw in here and put a washer and just do my awnings through here instead. I think it's a way better idea instead of having them pressed up right here. As you can tell, it's done quite a bit of damage to my roof rack and I do not like that at all. And not to mention how dirty my roof is. Um, and now I can actually clean up my wires as well. So I'm gonna light everything or wire everything up today. I'm gonna try to do that. And then solar panel as well. I might do the solar panel first so it can um, go ahead and kind of glue itself on. I'm gonna leave it out in the sun for a little bit. And then yeah. All right, so it's all clean. We were thinking about just putting it right here, dead set in the middle. I think that'd be a better idea because then I could run my wires through there. And then we still got to figure that part out, but we're going to grab the solar panel and stick it on. So yeah, I'm not too sure if I wired it properly. I'm waiting on somebody to call me back so we can kind of go over it and I could try to redo the circuit. But other than that, I'm sure it's working. I'm just have no clue what I'm doing. So now we're finishing on drying the tent and then I'm also going to figure out bolts for the rails of the roof rack so I can mount the awnings back up. And then we're gonna start doing the lights up there and get that done. So I finally got this one on. I decided to have one here, one in the front, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So these holes right here were not big enough for the screw that they give you. So I just decided to use the um, screws for the actual bars and do it on here. So I think it looks fine. I mean, it'll hold, it's not going anywhere. So now we just put the other ones on and we're gonna go ahead and wire them. And I'm probably gonna run all of them to the same spot down there. So I got those in, got one, two, got to do the other side. And we're really quick gonna install this so we can go ahead and get it over with. And then I can leave it to dry and make sure that actually sticks. All right, good morning or good afternoon. Um, it's the following day. And to be honest with you, we got like nothing done. Um, the only thing that I really got done is the lights I wired them up on both sides so they're good so I'll show you my ugly mess up here it's just wires that run alongside there they're ugly doesn't look the best but it'll do so the reason why we didn't finish is because that now I just have to put my awning I have my rooftop tent up there um, so what happened was I bought bolts for the awning to slide into here and it just didn't work out they kept spinning so luckily we have to go to Josh's house anyway and he said that he has tea nuts so I'm gonna be able to put the awnings on it's excuse the mess but I have my awnings here we're gonna test fit the fridge I have some batteries two batteries that we use uh, just in case so we'll be able to put the awnings on and then put the rooftop tent back on tonight so at least we have the lights done that's that's cool it's currently sunset and we are working on it we are about done I did get one of the awnings on the shower awning to be exact and then we have the other awning to still put on we are slowly working towards finishing thank God um, I'm literally ready to freaking call it quits and finish this because it's taking quite a quite a bit to, to do so here we go
and it's done. All right, guys, what's up? As you can see, after a week of working on it, it is finally done. It's taken a little bit longer than we anticipated. Uh, there was some hiccups and some issues that we ran into, um, but it's done. So I'm gonna take you guys around and kind of show you guys what I did and, you know, kind of give you a rundown. So, I mean, if you wanna do it yourself, you're more than welcome to. Obviously we have the shower awning. I decided to place it right here because it's really convenient actually, because if we have a water pump in here, or if we have any way to, to dispose water out of there, um, I can just open the window and then has a little pocket in there for you to open so you can let a hose in or we can just run out the window anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then also it has a hose holder. I don't think we'll use that, but it's nice. It has a little pocket. It's a nice awning. It's good quality. So. Another thing is obviously a pretty big deal. It's my solar panels. This one took a minute to do because I had to wait for some stuff. I wasn't expecting it to stick, but it did. I think it's because of the material of the tent. It's easy to stick things to. We did that. And then we also did tubing to hide the wires. I do plan on doing tubing inside as well because it's a, it's a mess right now. Um, but I was able to organize the outside I basically cut the tubes in sections um, because of the connectors of the solar panels. They won't fit in the tubes and I made sure to get smaller tubes because the bigger ones I feel like would just look a little weird. So it, it works and it still, I mean, it's, I haven't had an issue with it. Uh, I made sure to leave some slack in the wire to make sure that when I open the tent and close it, it doesn't pinch it. And then I kind of just ran it through my roof rack. Another thing is, is the back. I ran the wires under my roof rack and then I zip tied them on some of the railings and I ran it down my trunk into my tail light. So if you take off your tail light, you'll see that there's like a little rubber grommet or the rubber gasket that lets your wires go through inside the truck or inside your car. I cut a little hole into it so I can squeeze the wires through. And that's what I did. And so my solar panel wires go in with the tail light wires and it's worked out perfectly. So the Forerunner comes with a cargo cover and I cut a hole into one of the latches for it. And then I ran the wire in there. So it worked out. The only thing is now I just need to organize and hide the wires just to make it a little bit cleaner. At first, I, I, didn't, I didn't really necessarily know that solar panels Whenever there's a cloud above, it gets absolutely no watts, but it's been doing great. On a good day like this, we're looking at like around 70, 80 watts, which is actually really good. And it's, it, it's literally kept my battery on this whole time. It hasn't died. I've been, I've left my battery on my fridge for I think like three days now. And my battery has stayed at like 60, 70%. I feel like if I top the battery off like at home with the regular plug, it'll stay around like 90%. So it, it's worked and we're excited to use it when we go on bigger trips because now we don't have to worry about energy. That basically concludes what has gotten done so far. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoy the content. And yeah, we're excited to, to go on more trips with this thing. That's why we're building it. So peace out.